Hey, this is Mason. You are to be free. Join us, folks. Put your number with our number. Put your beliefs with our beliefs. We're going to organize and take back our nation, but we first must identify who the enemy is. It is based on the concept of idea. We're going to have to have an idea and come together under one idea. This coming together stuff, I don't mean it like other folks mean it. I don't mean come together and get along. I mean come together on like-minded things to face those who are not with us. Everyone's not with us, folks. Some folks are against you. You cannot come along together with people who are against you. But I've been watching the rise of socialism in our country. After 45 years of public education teaching our children to hate America, hate our God, hate our principles, hate our flag, hate our values, and know nothing about the founding fathers, nothing about our constitution, nothing about our laws and principles, our kids now have grown to adulthood thinking they're a loose, floating band of multicultural garbage. Cannot think on their own. Can I have a, a concept they believe in themselves? They must follow the leaders. And we have, we have seen them do this. We have seen them manage to train our children. We have given our children to the altar of multiculturalism. We have surrendered. We have sacrificed our kids. So now they're adults, and they're helpless and useless, and they can't do anything. You black folks out there, goodness gracious, can you stop being abused? Can you stop being pimped by these socialists in your, in your midst? Don't you know that they are trying to kill you? They're bringing in illegals. They're bringing in Muslims to work in your jobs. They're bringing in Mexicans to work in your jobs. You have no income. You have no businesses. You have no education. And they're still, you are applauding and supporting them and bringing these foreign workers in, giving them benefits, and telling you it's for your own good. You still support them. I'm embarrassed. And you attack folks who try to tell you you're being taken advantage of. I am embarrassed. Will you please stop and let's stand up and take back our nation? How can you support socialism? Can you name me one socialist country in Europe that has done anything for black people? Name me a socialist government in Europe where black folks are president. Name me a socialist country in Europe where black men have led the military like Colin Powell. Name me a black, a socialist nation in Europe anywhere where black people have a higher income. Gee whiz, folks, you, you, you're supporting your abuser like a prostitute to his pimp, to her pimps. You are looking at people who are abusing you and you look for the best abuser and you reject the people coming to rescue you. What is wrong with you folks? Name me a socialist African nation where black people aren't walking around with flies in their eyes. You're an embarrassment to me. I'm ashamed of you. I know your energy. I know your strength. I know you're fearless. But my God Almighty, will you stand up for yourself and shake off these shackles? Because it's only a mental shackle on you. It is not something that you have been born to do. You have surrendered your manhood and womanhood. You have surrendered your children. Planned Parenthood in every black neighborhood, killing black babies instantly. Using birth control to, to you, you think that getting a woman pregnant is your sign of manhood. Are you kidding me? Your sign of manhood is taking care of the woman you got pregnant. You allow them to put you in these gang prep schools called public schools, turning out uneducated, unmotivated children. I am embarrassed. When, when, when will black people stand up and say no more of these gang prep schools? teaching our children to walk on Greece at McDonald's saying, can I supersize that for you, sir? What happened to the people who built TIS University or Grammar University or Howard University? What happened to the people who built hospitals? What happened? We had slave people leaving slavery and going right to Congress. What happened to you? Black folks, will you please stop allowing these, these social pimps to tickle your ears in the pulpit, out of the pulpit, it will not stop unless you stop it. Like the abused woman supporting her abuser, it will not stop until she stops it. If you're tired of being broke, if you're tired of police brutality, if you're tired of going to jail, if you're tired of having no education, if you're tired of having no business and no jobs, if you're tired of it, you better stand up for yourself and join us. You are to be free. Join us. Like-minded people, white folks and black folks, rich folks and poor folks, East Coast and West Coast, we are not going to be separated by our differences any longer. We're going to be separated 
by right and wrong, light and dark. Are you with us? You want to go to freedom? Stay right or be left. This is Mason, and you are to be free. God bless you.